Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Trappers Trails and Tales. So in this little episode we're just going to be making some beaver snares for under the ice snaring. So don't go away, we'll be right back. Okay guys, so to build my uh, beaver snares, what I use is 1 16th cable. It's 1 by 19. And you can see here it's a pretty stiff wire. And what you do, once you take it off the roll, it basically wants to take its shape itself. You can see like this. So what I do is I take a piece about 36 inches long. And the locks I use on these are called the DMDC locks. And what I used to use, I used to use these for fox or whatever, but I found they didn't, uh, they didn't cinch tight enough to choke the fox out. I had a lot of live foxes in my snares, so I have to uh, sw or switch locks. And now I use these strictly for beaver. As we all know, when you snare a beaver under the ice, it's not like you're choking them out. You're basically just holding them there until he fixates, and then, and then that's it. So you basically just want it for holding, not for choking out. So again, I have uh, about 36 inches of cable, and that's going to give me about a 10 inch diameter uh, snare. And what I also use are these double furls for 1 16th cable. What I do is I put the snare through one end. I know everyone basically knows how to make a snare, but this is basically the way I do it. And again, you let it take its shape. Put a double furl on. And then you bring the cable back through the lock. Bend it over. Put it through the furl. And I like it just sticking out a little bit. So uh, I know there's a couple of times there I never did that. And what happened is I only had it early in there and I caught a beaver and he pulled the furrow right off the snare so so now it's just a matter of crimping the furrow I like to give it three crimps and you can see there it's basically taking the shape as it is just again I take another double furrow and what I'm going to do is make a little loop on this and that's going to help uh, Attach it to the bait pole that I that I set under the ice for the beaver. Doesn't have to be a very big loop. You can see it's just about the size of my thumb. Again, I like the snare sticking out a little bit. Take my pliers, crimp it three times. And there you go. Again, about a 10 inch diameter snare. Yeah, so that's your snare. Again, most people know I, uh, I don't set a lot of 330s under the ice for beaver. I like my snares just due to the fact that they're really light to carry. I can carry a couple hundred snares compared to two or three 330s. And what I like about these, if you happen to miss the beaver, it's not going to educate him. He's going to be back on the next time and you're more than likely going to have him. I do set these. Uh, Mostly on bait poles, but I have set them on channel sets. Fenced off the whole channel, put a couple of snares under there and caught them like that. Uh, the odd time I'll set up an entrance if I can find it. But again, I don't waste a lot of time looking for entrances. I just basically set them up along the feed, uh, set these bait poles along the feed bed and I get them that way. So again, that's how I build my snares. Again, 1 16th cable, 1 by 19 with these... Uh, DMDC locks and the double furrows. Make them 36 inches long, it's going to give you about a 10 inch loop. That's basically what you want. Alright, so on that little note, we're just going to let you go. I'm going to head out and uh, set a few of these up and hope to see you on the next adventure, Trappers, Trails, and Tales. Later, guys.